for the benefit of people, mm. I must uh, speak about um, my personal contact. Mm. Because it is rare for ladies to get his personal contact, especially those days when I got. My personal contact with Baba was in Patna when he came out of jail in 1978. And there was a rule made at that time, all those who are graduate and, uh, and those who are willing to work for uh, GP, you know, Baba had introduced GP at that time, shortly back. So, who whosoever wants to work for GP and who is a graduate can get contact. Mm -hmm. Immediately, I changed my trade to GP. I was so much eager to have his contact and applied for it. Talk to PA Dada. Okay, please mm -hmm. give me. See, I am one of those Margi who got in touch with Baba in very uh, early age of my life. I got initiated at the age of 12. And my story is not of any miracle, but the story of uh, instant love and affection. I never expected any miracle from him, and he never showed anything like that. But there was understanding of, mutual understanding of that he is an omnipresent person. Baba is omnipresent, omniscient, and I knew it well from my heart, and he always proved before me that he is omniscient. He understands my heart. Then it was 1961 when I got initiated. So Baba used to love us like a child. There were a few families in Margas uh, who had personal relationship with Baba. One of them is mine. Baba himself told that count down the families who have Margis since three generations. And Baba himself told my father's name. So that way, <laughs> so I, I had a great desire to go near him all the time. And he gave me few opportunities too. In 1978, when he came out of jail, I was uh, uh, just 30 years old, maybe. <laughs> I applied for my personal contact because um, I fulfilled the criteria that Baba has uh, made to have a personal contact for ladies. And there were a few foreigners coming at that time. A lady was from Switzerland, she was in line, and I also was in line. But Baba took taste of me, and three, four days he wanted me. Just I waited, waited, waited outside his room every day. And one day, he came out from his room and uh, went ahead and turned back to me. Tell me, what do you want to talk? Tell me, what do you want to say? I was aghast. I said, Baba, I, uh, please call me nearer. Mentally, I said, I don't want to talk in public. So, Baba, please call me nearer. Then Baba said, OK, OK, I will listen to you. And then he went in the <coughs> Jagriti Hall. Next day, he, he permitted me to come closer to him. And when I went inside the room, he was lying down on the cot. I prostrated, and he was in a very sober mood. As soon as he got up, he asked me, Tell me, tell me, what do you want? I had heard all so many stories, but this was very sudden to me. He asked me, what do you want? I thought for a bit and tell, told, Baba, I want to please you. Nothing else came out from my mouth. There were so many things that I wanted, but the word came out, Baba, I want to please you. Ah. Listening to this, he became very happy. He became red. He got up, sat on the bed. I was just looking at him. He said, if you do service to humanity, I will be pleased. I still got disoriented, thinking that he is keeping me away now. He is asking me to do service. I said, Baba, what service I can do? I can't do anything. He said, why? Why can't you do? He said, he just took out the fingers and said, 
यू कैन डू शुद्धोचित सेवा यू कैन डू गैस्ट्रोचित सेवा यू कैन डू क्षत्रियोचित सेवा एंड यू कैन डू विप्रोचित सेवा जस्ट लाइक ए चाइल्ड आई टोल बाबा बाबा इवन इफ आई डू समथिंग हाउ विल यू कैम टू नो बिकॉज टू मीट एवरीथिंग वॉज वेरी वर्ल्डली सर्विस एंड ऑल I just wanted his love and I wanted to please him. I just wanted to ignore this aspect. Mm. I told even if I do, who will tell you the word? <laughs> Then Baba looked at his PA. He was standing. He said, "See, Ramanand, whatever she does, you come and inform me immediately." And Baba was in a playful mood. Then I got some courage. I told. Baba, actually, I want to write down whatever Lila you are doing on this planet Earth. He became serious, and he extended his hand and touched my head. Then again, childishly, I said, "Baba, I will write with this and touch my hand." He said, "Just like a child, right? When I touched your head, what is the use of uh, touching your head? Just set me aside." there after he said now you can go i was not willing to come out this still i did prostrate it again and came out yeah because i was alone ha uh, it was not a group meeting it was just baba called loud out and then um, it is it is in my childhood when i mean, was studying college first year of college uh, abhi attended a dmc somewhere and the dmc speech baba told that uh, one should not ask anything from param purusha that he always says <coughs> one should not ask anything from param purusha yes. uh, he just speeches like that always then i felt very bad some people ask grace from baba all the time so why should you ask because if you uh, you do your work you utilize your capacity if you need some extra capacity i will give so should not ask anything so but uh, i have, i was one of the devotee who always asked grace from him always every day in sadhana i will ask him baba please grace me baba please grace me with your love grace me for good sadhana grace me for realizing you so i was asking grace so i felt very bad in that day and uh, thought in my mind all along these days i have been troubling baba and baba might not be happy with me i committed a mistake okay thereafter it happened and thereafter next day baba came to our house to have lunch is with those days it was possible Baba used to visit Margie's house, so Baba's lunch was in our house. So at lunch time, when he came, there's a long story, but I'm cutting it short. Uh, lunch time, Baba had his food. We served him, and just while we are taking out the plate, he asked, "Have you taken your food?" we could not answer because we had not so go have something and come so immediately we rest and come uh, go have something and come i want to talk to you it was so special hurriedly we went out me and my sister and had something from prasad and uh, ran back to his room baba was still sitting on the cot and uh, we prostrated while prostrating he started telling yesterday night i told that you should not ask anything from param purusha in my mind i was feeling so sad i was just getting up and telling him baba no baba now on words i will never ask now on words i will not ask and he was in a very good mood i was looking at him he said but i say today 
Why should you ask grace for from him? You are a brave girl. You will snatch his grace. It was in Hindi actually. The force comes if we speak his language, his words. Translation never comes so good. He said, Tum param purush se grace kripa kyo mangogi ji? Tum unki bahadur beti ho, tum unki kripa chin logi. He just acted like snatching. He, he, with his hand, he acted like snatching something. He will, he will snatch grace from him. He proved that how much he understands our heart, how much he loves us. Actually, nothing is beyond him. Good, bad, dark, bright, nothing. Everything he only. Actually, I have seen, I can't express my own things, but the main spiritual experience that I have realized in my life, it is through my mother. Now she is no more. I want to tell one or two stories related to her. Because to me, she, she, she is the most elevated lady. And she is a self-realized person. And Baba used to reveal himself before her many a times. She could see Baba everywhere. She could talk to him. The most intense scene I remember, when my father died, he died suddenly, unbelievable, at the age of 60 only. And uh, my mother was in such a state of sadhana. She was crying and crying, and immediately she would sit in sadhana and uh, talk to Baba. Once she decided that she will leave her body. No, Baba, I don't want to leave. I want to leave this body. Baba came directly to her and said, Shut up! What are you talking? Jo mein bolunga wo hoga, jo mein chahunga wo hoga, ya jo tum chahogi wo hoga. What should be done? With what I wish should be done or you, your wishes should be fulfilled? No, Baba, no. Your wishes should be fulfilled. So you have to stay here. Think of the kids. Father has gone and the mother will also go. She scolded my mother. Mm. Thereafter, my mother said, just folded hands, as you wish, Bob. And she lived, lived till 98 years of her age. Mm. She died in nine, 2015. And there are many instances after Baba is leaving his physical body, after his physical departure too, we never felt ourselves without Baba because of my mother. Every now and then she was able to connect to him. Many stories are there that I would like to write later. I have written a story, my stories, and my mother's story till Baba's departure. And what happened after his departure? That is also very important to understand for Margis and to, to have better love for Baba. One more thing I will tell by my mother, how Baba appeared. After taking the initial second lesson, after taking sadhana only, she used to become abnormal, behave abnormally sometimes. Sometimes she will, she will put her hands in the fire, thinking that Baba is leaving to catch Baba. So when, and once she will see Baba in the water, she will start playing with water for half an hour, one hour, and laughing, laughing in the bathroom, just laughing loudly and taking bath. Sometimes she will dance in the courtyard. One day it happened after taking bath, she came out in the courtyard and there was some, you know, kachara? Garbage, yes. There was a heap of garbage there. 
When she saw the garbage, she saw Baba in it. She sat down and they started playing with the garbage, putting garbage on her head and all. At that moment, Baba came. What are you doing? See what it is. Baba, you are there. No, see what it is. Baba, it is garbage. Why are you playing with this? No, Baba, I will not do now. Never, never. Don't do this like this. Then she became quiet. Age. She got initiated in 1960. Which year was this? Which year? This, all these things happened. Uh, uh, 60, from between 60, uh, 1 to 65, 66. The first thing he said to my mother that uh, tell Prabha, he took my name in 1990, just after leaving his body. I was very distressed, extremely distressed. So he did not come to me, but he came to my mother and he told clearly in her dhyan that go and tell Prabha that I have not gone, I am still there. And once then I, when I met my mother, she told me slowly, the Baba has conveyed for you that uh, he's, he has not gone anywhere. One day my mother was doing, a, after Guru Sakas, she was offering Guru Puja, and she was offering a colored flower to him. Baba told her, why are you giving colored flower? You have already have Dharma Samiksha. Well, yes, Baba. So why are you giving me colored flower? Give me white. Then my mother gave him white color. 